Hello friends, my name is Willow and welcome back to Strange Order Culture. We left off murdering a detective who was investigating us in giving people poisonous herbs. Anyways, oops, we killed him. So I don't know what the fallout's gonna be from that, so let's go ahead and find out. <laughs> okay, day eight. So we've been doing this for over a week. That's cool. Um, what clues do we have? Lowick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crinkle Crags, that random one. Five miles south of the tallest but one. It grows in the peace of the midday sun. Okay, let's try this one first. Um, this one. Lowick to Ilgil Head. Been to Lowick before, haven't I? Yeah, Lowick to Ilgil Head. There, okay. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Where's Crinkle Crags, bro? Crinkle Crags is up here. So Lowick. Ilgil head here. Boxfield to Crinkle Crags. Nothing here. God damn it. Alright, anyways. Apparently there's a cabin somewhere. Whatever. Next. Customer. Ennis Aylford. You were wise to pledge your support to the Seeds of the Redemption. Oh yeah, I forgot we kinda joined a cult. Uh, together we are stronger. Now that the Gendru has awoken, the redemption is upon us. It's glorious time. Our deeds will be remembered for a thousand years. Those of us have put our faith in the Woken Dendru will be saved, but we will, must act swiftly. We'll be in touch soon. Praise the Dendru. Uh, okay. Anyways, I'll pet my cat. Good purr. What a sweetie. <gasps> Hello. My mind is clouded, dark. I see it, and it sees me. All of me. Elder Finium is the answer. It must be. Is that the fancy name for it? Nope. Great. I will not forget those who helped me, horticulturist. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Tendra's miasma, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it has a tox or an intoxicating scent. I know I've had some weird flowers come in recently. It's not one we've identified. I'm gonna give a hint. I need to look back through the letters. I remember seeing something that could lead me to a new map location. Okay. Kent Mere Eye. Okay. What does that mean? Kent Mere Eye? Damn it, okay. Man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg. Possibly near the source of the Wister. But that was what I could never figure out. I need to follow the river Winster back to its point, okay. I need to water my plants to get the will to explore. <laughs> okay. Nothing here, bro. That's the source of the Winster. No? Unless it means like, I don't know, man. I really don't want to turn you away. So I'm going to just keep clicking. And I'll skip this so you guys don't have to see it. <laughs> okay. 
Why did I come here? Bro, that's the source of the Windstar. It comes from this bigger one. Unless you mean like... I don't know, man. Unless you mean the exact opposite, which I guess could be the case. <sighs> All right. I must return to the shop first. Oh, here we are. Next. This bitch? Oh my god. Okay. Down two over three. Okay. So that was from here. So we go down two over three. Here we go. Okay. The camp at Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes, ho, 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 this man says. You must take this, take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope directly on top, or delicately on top. Ho, ho, it's no use to me anymore. Ho, ho, no use. Don't forget the red, the red, the red, the red. Oh, ho, Abney. I'm sure he's quite mad. <gasps> looking glass. Fascinating. And a letter. It is said that the red ebony plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device designed to use extract from plant in concert with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magic otherwise unseeable to the naked eye. Okay, that's great. Um, That didn't get me the plant, though. She get the viewing device working. Damn, I have to do all of this? The Red Avenue. flower is in fact blue. Thank you. God bless. Thank you for telling me that because I would have been looking elsewhere. Okay. Do I have this? Reference I-14 on the map. Thank you for literally just telling me, because... Beautiful. <laughs> and now this... goes... there. And then I need to take another look at the clue card. No. This one? No. It works! Woohoo! Slay? Elder Finium grows here. That's fucking Slay. Okay, there we go. So grows two over from that river right there. Okay. Great, that took fucking forever, but now we have it. There we go. So now we know. Okay, well to explore, and we need this. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I would never have thought to come out to such a desolate place in search of a plant life, but quick search yields exciting results. Alrighty. Now that's what I call progress. And so this has to be Elder Finium, but I'm going to double check. Yeah, I suppose. All right, slay. Okay, then 
I want to label you. So I know. Perfect. Next. You can go back. <gasps> Grace. Interesting. My mom was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long meg could mean, though. Is that another plant? Anyways, I thought you should have it in case it's any help. She loved this shop. Start at long meg. S3E2. Let's explore. Okay. Hold on. Start at long meg. Looking for anything. It could be called long meg. Hmm. Anyways, I'll come back to that later. Hold on, is this... Okay, here we go. It still has it all blue. I'm gonna click it until something maybe changes. Just kidding, it's not changing. Okay. Help me, the amulet. I can't remove it, it's drawing life from me. Long Varricand. Okay. Oh. Sometimes called witch's remedy, the long Varricand is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. So who's not identified yet? Not you. Not you. So that does help lower it, like, or um, narrow it down, because I can just look for things I haven't identified yet. Do I not have it? <laughs> this clue card? Golden light. Golden light is a plant. The great oak. Tomb of the hunter. Is there a place called Long Meg? That'd be pretty sick. So, was, hold on. Lowick to Ilgil Head. And then Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. Is this it? Wow, I'm so fucking brilliant. Anyways. And I think that's the plant I need. Beautiful. So that was the clue card. I was needing to figure out. Lovely. Oh my god, what a sleigh. Okay. Okay. Long Varric and right? Something like that. Okay. Next. Kentmere Eye. What does that mean, bro? It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long, I started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. <laughs> I'm back in town for a few days, though, and wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. Oh, no. Shit. Okay. That's great and all, but I don't know what order they go in. Unless... Do they line up? Yes, they do. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 
Okay. Somehow, I have become a master at solving puzzles. Okay. What are you? Any of these have writing? Anyways, I don't know. I'll read that letter later. Okay, Trimble Huff and Devil's Night Trap. Okay, so this we need to read. Okay, a briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a s disc. Uh oh, smuggler's disc is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. Oh, that's what I have. Okay. The location of cached cargo, for example. The principle is cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disc of identical size with the same symbols etched around its edges and a map. To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointed to the location. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but this can but this method can to reach any other point on the map required. Okay. So this works on the map. Fascinating. Okay, Black Road Kendall. Is that a place I can go? Kendall? Black Hall Road Kendall. Huh. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. What is this, though? Is that one of the symbols that's on here? No. Well, I don't know what that's for yet, but we'll find out. Okay. I have no idea what any of this means, but it seems like you might find it interesting. I found it while clearing up the nook off in the east wing. <gasps> now, do these have symbols? No. Okay. Okay, made from the crushed petals of three distinct plants. Baylock's elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylock's and staring at a wall for 12 hours. Okay, that's interesting. Anyways, can we put you all away? Lovely. I have so many notes now. How am I gonna get through any of this? <sighs> All right. Next. Ooh, a young woman alone in the world. She was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home as a chance for redemption, a new start. In Tibet, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Is that a location? <laughs> Uh-oh, Saturday. Okay. Let's look. Tebay, Tebay. T E B A Y. Torver, no. You wouldn't think following the modern railway line into Tebay that was that this once prosperous village was home to a notorious prophetess. Mary Baines, a local witch, haunted the locals with her tales about the end of the world. Although such prognostications may seem quaint nowadays, her grave in the churchyard is still avoided by all in the village and nothing grows there. Huh. I don't know, Long Meg? Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late night in the library are taking their toll. Sorry, it was all just capitalized, so I was maybe thinking it spelled a word. Fever kiss. Red berries, pale in color. I know I've seen you, right? No? No, because it's like this, the pale leaves. Oh, fever kiss, I've already identified it. Hello, oh, well. Interesting, next. David Schaefer. There's talk of a woman who wears a mask, green mask made of jade. There's all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. 
Yeah, I've seen her. Deck foot candle. Do I see anything here? No. Okay. Can't me your eye, Beck foot candle. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, this one. Kentmere? I. Why did I come here? God damn it. Beckfoot candle. Let me see if that works. Where's Beckfoot? Hmm. Well, I'll look at that another time. Oh, Beckfoot. Okay. And then candle. Okay. So you would think that I had it right. Unless there's another eye. I have that eye. And that's where I went, no? Huh. Anyways, we'll try again another time. Hello, Forest Fair. I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I possibly can about this beast that is rumored to be seen in these parts. In the old world, they call this thing the Servant, but the people here haven't, have seemed to have forgotten that name. Except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear if they want me to stay away from the Servant. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Dranthium. Mind-altering abilities. Is it this guy? Okay. Long, sharp leaves. Hmm. Let me see, do I have it? Oh, Dranthium. Right, this is right here. A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than I could ever imagined any living thing might be. Its upper branches grace the sky. Well, that's not what I needed. Is there anything that says anything about Dranthium? No, it's just the Tomb of the Hunter, the Great Oak, and Elder Finium. So it must be the Tomb of the Hunter next. So I guess I'll just water some plants. Okay. Right, it's this one? Yeah. Okay. The memorial bears the same name, or bears the name Swaif Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Dreyer. Theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build up a tolerance to Dranthium sap in childhood that they might benefit from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Great, and that's for you, baby. Lovely. Great, and then let's get you labeled. Lovely. Next, <gasps> Reuben Ward. I crept around Black Cope two nights ago in the pitch black. That eye bright was some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Upon the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerly silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise, like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistakably animal. Uh oh. High on a ridgeline, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask, watching me. Beside her, something dark and human and bloody huge. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild cold for my pounding head. You've been drinking. You'd have been drinking too if you saw what I've seen. All right, wild coal. Berries. This one? Mm. For wild coal? Okay, hold on. Let me 
me try this again. Kentmere. I. E28. And then for this one, it was Beckfoot. Candle. The candle leads me to east, uh, to east of way west water. Oh my god. The candle leads me east of west water. To the north of the mighty Skullfill Pike graces the sky. Tulsa Peak in England. A challenge back into me, perhaps another time. Well, that's not the plant I needed, but now I see how we do it. Great. So I just clicked the wrong thing last time, I guess. Unless the thing I need is not in one of those letters, and in fact, in a different letter. <laughs> in that case, I might be fucked. Okay. So now we go Kentmere. Pi. Or do we think it's I? Yes, from Kentmere, I follow the bearing of the eye and end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The wood of Kendall. That was something I needed as well. Woods are thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the berries I need. Brilliant. Thank you. Norwood. Okay. So now let's give me that. Where's the berries? Where did I put them? Nope. There's the berries. What was this shit? Wild coal. Okay. Lovely. So now what needed Kendall? I don't know. Back of a candle. Some something said Kendall, didn't it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. Anyways. Next. Hello, Emily Costigan. Well, this looks like the right place. I don't want to have to tra traipse all over the way to Red Pike, so hopefully you got what I'm after. It's a non-flowering plant with smallish leaves that seems to grow mostly on the Red Pike. At least that's the only place I've found it. Common Trouse, I see. I wasn't about to struggle for that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Where did I... That's not the common trous. C common trous, where are you? Lovely. Next. Verona, welcome back. Poor Ruben, he's looking a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the stone circle, but all that's up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. And then the Gilded Dendra. That really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm heading to Grisdale Forest again. This is total no more. Ooh. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendro, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly Gilded Dendro plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread. But the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. You've heard, you'll have heard of it in children's songs, such as Keep the Fire Burning and Servant Master. There are hints of it in older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead ground north of Tibet, where nothing but black Digitatus mortis grows was caused when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. Northeast of Tibet. Let's look at that. So Tibet. North. East. Yep, here we are. Look at that. And which was that? What was that called? Where nothing but what grows? Yep, there is. Where nothing but digitatus mortis grows. Okay, actually I'm gonna start at the beginning. Nope, I don't have it yet. Okay. Close the archive, we can end the day. Well, actually... Let's... 
explore one more time. Okay, the will to explore. Okay, so I wanna try Yes, this one. So, into bay. Then we go north, east, south, south, west, south, south. Hold on, let me try that again. North, east, south, south, west, south, south. Fuck yeah. There we go. Lovely. I'm gonna put one of them up here. There you go. All right. Then I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, let's see what this card says. Nothing. Great. Every day, she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day, she patiently performed the tasks given to her. Every day, thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. That's not good. All right. Yeah, a blank fucking card. Let me see if there's anything on it. <sighs> a secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. That I can do, baby. Foxfield. Two miles north. One, two. Three ravens circle above, their caws and croaks cleaving the silence. An omen I take when I came before I leave. <gasps> what a pretty new plant. I'm getting full of plants. All right. Then I will go ahead and end it there. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Strange Horticulture. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am because honestly, normally I kind of suck at puzzle solving games because I think of the solution that makes sense in my head. And then when that's not the game's solution, I kind of lose track of what to do. So I really do like the hint system in this game that has helped me a lot. Um, but let me know if you guys have any ideas of how to solve any of the other puzzles that we haven't gotten to yet. I would love to hear solutions, ideas in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.